What's up, everybody? NFC Championship Preview. We got, excuse me, the Minnesota Vikings and the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. I knew the Eagles would be here, especially in the mid part of the season. But I'm kind of shocked about the Vikings, especially after that game against the uh, New Orleans Saints, which I'm just like, wow. Honestly, at the pro at the professional level, outside of the uh, Music City Miracle, that's probably the best game I've ever seen at, at the professional level. I was I was I was astounded. I feel bad for Marcus Williams because I feel like he misjudged misjudged where Stephen Diggs was going to land and end up uh, uh, missing the complete tackle and taking out his own teammate. But hopefully he bounces back. But it was a great game. Shocking! Wow. I'm ha and I'm happy for the the, the Vikings. I'm happy I'm happy for Case Keenum, um, Teddy Bridgewater, who actually I got to play. Uh, at the end of the year, which is huge because he had a horrific knee injury. So, good to see him. Uh, just good to see the, the overall um, Vikings team. And Latavius Murray, who was a, a Raider last year. I'm glad he has a chance to, to play for a Super Bowl. I wish he kind of stayed. But, you know, I'm happy that he's doing well. But, you know who I feel sad for? Truly, truly sad for. Adrian Peterson. I feel so bad for this dude because years on years on years, this dude put Minnesota on his back. He made that team relevant. He was really the only reason they got primetime games. And to just one year, if he had stayed one year, he'd be in a situation. Just one year. And then he had a chance to, if he had stayed, if he, if somehow they had worked it out in, in uh, with the Saints, he he would have made the playoffs, but like, ah, it, you just feel bad for the guy because he's sitting home on his couch saying, "That could have been me. That could have been me." And it's so sad for a guy who really never had a chance to contend for a Super Bowl, with the exception, with the exception of when Brett Favre was there and they had uh, Sidney Rice, um, uh, Percy Harvin was a rookie, and they they lost to the uh, to the Saints. In the uh, uh, oh, they, they, they lost an NFC Championship game to the Saints when the Saints won um, their Super Bowl. That's really the only time I can remember him actually having a real chance at a Super Bowl. So I just, I just feel bad for the guy. I feel bad for the guy. Now on to the game. I like, I like the, I like the Eagles' defense. Aggressive. I like Chris Long, who's a son of Howie Long, Hall of Fame Raider. I like their defense. Um, I like the the the, the complement of, of running backs that they have, and Corey Clement, um, Jay Ajahi, and uh, Legarrette Blunt. I think that's huge. Zach Ertz obviously had a great year this year. He's won me several games in fantasy, so that's huge. Um, Nick Foles has to play smart. I'm happy for Nick Foles too because he uh, he's been bouncing around. He's He's had some success with the Eagles prior to, but he's played he's played solid, not great, but solid. He's gonna have to play a, have, play well. He can't have turnovers. Uh, play within the offense. Use your playmakers. If he if he can play smart, I think the Eagles have the the moment the momentum, the defense to beat the Vikings. But that said, I don't know if I'm I I don't know if I'm ready to believe yet. In Nick Foles, I'm not ready. I'm not. I don't know if I'm ready to believe yet. Case Keenum, I remember. I remember him when he played his first playoff game with the Houston Texans because their starting quarterback at the time got hurt, and he he played he played well. But I'm happy that he's got a chance. Um, that Stephen Diggs, I've liked him out of Maryland. Um, Adam Thielen, he's huge. Kyle Rudolph, you got Latavius Murray. An offensive line that's been health that's been that's healthier compared to last year, and that defense, the defense, the both defenses are are just top notch. And I would say, if I had to pick one defense, I'm probably gonna go with the Vikings defense. I'm gonna go with the Vikings defense as being slightly better, not greatly better, but slightly better. So who do I think? I think the key, the key. 
for the Eagles. Nick Foles has to play in himself. He can't play like Carson Wentz because he just I don't think that's his game. Um, if you use your playmakers, if you use the designs that uh, Peterson draws up for you, you should be fine. In terms for the Vikings, if you can run the ball consistently with McKinnon and uh, Latavius Murray, and then use a sprinkle Adam Thielen and um, Stephen Stephen Diggs, I think that's how you keep you keep the uh, Eagles defense off balance by not knowing if it's going to be a pass or a run. You got to be balanced. If you're Case Keenum, he can make plays with his feet. So if he can be smart in terms of how to run or when to run, rather. I think that'll that'll keep that'll put the uh, Eagles defense on their back, on their heels rather. So I think that's the key. Use Case Keenum's athleticism, but don't use it in a in a way where like you think he's Michael Vick or something like that. I think you just use use timely runs. So it all it's always in the back of their mind that hey he can run. So let's not let's not bring a blitz this time. And that's how I think if you, if you're if you're the uh, Vikings, how you how you beat the Eagles. Keep them on their heels. Play smart. Get points when you can, and leave it up to your defense. For the Eagles, use your playmakers. You got a plenty of them. Plenty of them. You got Alshon Jeffrey, uh, Nelson Aguilar, who I, I'm glad he had, he's bounced back from last year because last year was terrible. He's huge. And Zach Ertz already mentioned. Corey Clement, LeGarrette Blunt, and Jay Ajahi. Use your, you got plenty of playmakers. Use them. Doug Peterson's very good at drawing up plays and creating mismatches, so play within the offense. That's how I think you beat the uh, the Vikings. Now, who do I think is going to win? The heck with it. I'm going with the Vikings. I'm going with the Vikings because I, I, I believe in their defense slightly better. It's slightly better than the Eagles' defense. So I'm going to go with the Vikings when win and go to go to the Super Bowl. Go with that. Skull, baby. Go, skull. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think wins? As always, thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Letter of Sports Show. Woo, I can't wait to these games. Can't wait to these games.